everyone, Karen Glasser here, and welcome to Once Upon a Storytime. I'm so glad you're here. We'd love to hear from you, so whether you're here live or on replay, doesn't matter, we love you. Comment below and say hi. We have a great story for you today, so let's jump in and have some fun. Today, we are welcoming back award-winning children's author, Adam T. Newman. He's going to be reading from his book, How to Fight a Cold. Adam is an award-winning children's book author and public speaker whose childhood consisted of sports, reading comics, and playing with action figures, my type of guy. Inspired to write through tragic events and fueled by the love and laughter of his family, award-winning author Adam continues to inspire, encourage, and entertain children from all over the world with his silly and humorous stories. In addition to writing children's stories and being a dad to two amazing kids, he travels and performs to schools across the country and encourages children to read, write, and tap into their funny bone of their imagination. So so without further ado, we welcome Adam. <laughs> hey, Karen, I've been training for this all week long. I'm ready for a knockout show. Are you ready for a knockout show? I am. I want to say, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> I'm going to take these gloves oh off. I, I, you know what? You, you know how to tell a story. And you were awesome the last time you were on. And I know you're going to be awesome again. And so I tell everybody out there, live or on replay, you know the drill. Snow up. With whoever you came with, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, your aunt, your uncle, your dog, your cat, your goldfish. No, don't take the goldfish out of the bowl. Don't do that. Don't do that. But get comfortable because it's story time. Are you ready, Adam? I am ready. Sit back, relax, grab a snack. In fact, Karen, I just wanted to thank you for having me on the show a second time. And in honor of number two, I made something for you. And, and I'd like to share with you. I made you a plate of brownies. And I wanted to offer it to you. Here you go. It's a plate of brand. Okay. Right back into the show. My name is author Adam T. Newman, and I am the author of this book right here called How to Fight a Cold. Now, before I read you the story, I want to tell you a couple things. One, sit back and relax. And two, my books are filled. And I mean filled with rhyming words. You guys know what a rhyming word is, right? Cat and bat and mat, you get the idea. But every time you hear a rhyming word, I'd like you to take this hand, or maybe that hand, and bring it to your ear like this and go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I want to hear you from your computer screen or your TV or your tablet, any device. So every time you hear me read a rhyming word, just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Without further ado, I am uh, going to read How to Fight a Cold, so here we go. How to Fight a Cold by me, author Adam T. Newman, illustrated by Susan G. Young. I woke up in the morning. I had boogers galore. My nose was super stuffy, and my throat was really sore. I had a raspy voice, which made me sound old. You're staying home from school, Mom said. You caught a cold. I caught a cold? How? When? Where? Now I am your mother, and mothers know best. In order to fight a cold, you'll need lots of rest. Wiggle, 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 I'm watching you. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Mommy fluffed up my pillows, tucked me back into bed, and before leaving the room, gave me a kiss on the head. Wiggle, 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 great job. How do I fight a cold? Do I need to learn some Kung Fu? My nose is completely stuffed up. Maybe I'll, uh, uh, uh I had a pounding headache. I let out a cough. My eyes felt very heavy. But before I dozed off, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, what's going on there? From underneath my pillow, a hairy creature crept out. It had a greenish blue tongue. Mmm. Let me see your greenish blue tongue. Mmm. Eh, it's not going to be greenish blue, I bet you. It had a greenish blue tongue and an elephant like snout. It looked me in the eye and threw me some clothes. 
then it flared out its nostril and sucked me in through its nose. Ooh, that is gross. The inside of its nose was dark. The ground was pretty mushy. I tripped over a giant booger and I landed on my tushy. Ugh, he landed on his tushy. That's gross. Hey, watch it, kid. A booger rolled over and yelled. He appeared old and crusty, and his breath really smelled. Ugh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. My name is Boogie, and I know I look old, but I'm going to train you to fight that tough cold. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. He pushed me into a building. It smelled like a sweaty gym. Time to prepare you for your fight. Let the training begin. He had me do push-ups and sit-ups, jumping jacks and karate. I took a quick break from the speed bag because I had to use the potty. <laughs> that is gross. Well, then we raced into a room that smelled like freshly cut roses. Inside there were hundreds of flying stuffy noses. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. He threw me a box of tissues and shouted, Clean these out. I used my arms to reach deep into each boogery snout. Ooh, look at that, right up the nose. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Don't forget every time you hear a rhyme word. Keep up the good work, he said. My booty was getting kicked. Of all the boogers in this nose, he's the one I picked. Then he threw me my gloves. The event was finally here. As I hopped into the ring, the crowd started to cheer. Boys and girls, when I say the crowd started to cheer, the crowd is you. I'm going to say the crowd started to cheer, and I want you to make a tight fist like this, and I want you to say with me, let's go fight a cold. You can do it. Then he threw me my gloves. The event was finally here. As I hopped into the ring, the crowd started to cheer. Let's go fight a cold. But my confidence didn't last long. It didn't last long at all. When I stared at my opponent, well, I felt pretty small. Why do you think he felt pretty small? He was so pumped up and ready for this fight. Maybe because the cold had enormous spiky wings and extremely hairy toes. I started to cry when I saw its red eye and its giant pierced nose. Ooh, that's why. The starting bell rang. Again, boys and girls, I'm going to say the starting bell rang, and I want you to take a finger like this, and I'm going to say the starting bell rang, and I want you guys to go ding. Very easy. Let's try it out. This starting bell rang. Ding. I nearly peed in my pants. If I could distract this ugly creature, I just may have a chance. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So before I was pummeled and smashed into the ground, I held out my gloves and screamed, Stop! Want to know what I found? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Kapow! Colds do not listen. <laughs> no, they don't. His mouth opened wide. He let out a roar. Drink this, Boogie shouted, sliding me chicken soup on the floor. I gobbled up the soup. I tossed out the bowl, just as the big, mighty cold swallowed me whole. As I slid down his throat, I began to feel great. I was getting bigger and stronger. Was it the soup I just ate? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I grew more than five times my size. I busted out of my top. If I got any bigger inside here, this belly would. This belly would. Boys and girls, what's it say? This belly would pop. <laughs> when I opened my eyes, mom was cleaning tissues off the floor. My nose wasn't super stuffy and my throat 
was no longer sore. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Mommy gave me a look and said very bold, you're going to school today, love. You fought that cold. I fought a cold? Woohoo! I just hope he doesn't want a rematch. Huh. The end. And that, my friends, is the story of how to fight cold by me, author Adam T. Newman. So, so, so Adam T. Newman, I don't think you're excited enough. <laughs> I've been training and training. You know, I wanted to think of a clever boxing joke for you, Karen. I wanted to come in strong, throwing the joke punches. I just, I thought of one and I had a great one, but I forgot the punchline. <laughs> get it? Punchline. Punch, I get it. I, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. You know what? I am right now guessing that people want to know where to get this book because this is so cool and so much fun. So here's a cover of the book in case you didn't notice it all over the background and all over the place. But when you, um, you there's going to be a link that's going to pop into the, um, actually, I think it, it's already there somewhere. Once upon a story time live. Yes, it's already there. When you click on that link, it'll take you right over to the page to go purchase the book yes. because we know you want to. And while you're there, we have an absolutely free download as well because the fun should continue right after the show is done. Right? Oh, I made a rhyme. <laughs> you did. You were fantastic. You were so hard to I'm a rhymer too, just like you. Not as good as you though. I don't think I'm quite as good as you, but because you're pretty awesome. You are pretty awesome. So I'm sure people want to know how to get in touch with you and we're going to tell them right now. They can go visit you on your website at miloinkbooks.com. And if they happen to be an Instagrammer, they can go over to at Milo K Inc. Milo K. I did that. I do that every time. Milo Inc. Books Milo on Instagram. Books. <laughs> they can find you also on Facebook as well. Let's find the Facebook. Here we go. Add Milo Inc. Books. And finally, you do have a YouTube channel. You're all over the place. You're everywhere. And if they search for you in YouTube on Adam T. Newman, they're going to find your YouTube channel and find you right there because you are awesome. You know, guys, when you're over at the site, onceuponastorytime.live, make sure you join the Kids Club because we have a free coloring book for you where you can tell your own story. And that means you can actually tell your own story. You can make a title. You can actually tell the story. You can have pictures. Really cool. And it keeps the fun going long after the show is over. Adam, thank you so much for joining us today. You are absolutely welcome. My pleasure. It's been my absolute pleasure. And, and Karen, do you know what a boxer's favorite drink is? I have no idea. Fruit punch. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm fun. <laughs> you are so funny. I know that everyone out there live or on replay, you want to check out Adam. He is funny. Join us next week on the next episodes of Once Upon a Storytime, and we'll see you then. Goodbye, everyone.